Improv Game Show. And let's welcome our contestants! So our contestants here are Brandy and Chuck. Hi. Brandy! Yeah. Brandy! Yeah. Um, this interesting factoid Hi. I found out about you was you peed in a cup? At yeah. the Pentagon? I did. <laughs> <laughs> Can you expand on yeah, that? Yeah, I, um, I actually went there right after 9-11 to do some relief work, which was, you know, I was happy to get to do that, and felt like I was getting a little bit of an issue in the urinary tract region. So I, uh, so I told the people I was with, and I'm like, you just not really feeling very well. And they're like, okay, so this guy on a little four-wheel buggy came out and said, all right, we're going in. And I peed in a cup in the Pentagon. Oh. I was fine. Only five people can say that they're dumb. And Chuck, it says here, uh, when you were young, you faked drowning at the beach. Yes. <laughs> I actually have, I have, uh, I have members of my family here who were there to witness that uh, dramatic piece of, of Shakespeare. Uh, yeah, so I guess I might have been six or seven, maybe uh, 24, uh, and I, um, I, 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 they were all having way too much fun without mm -hmm. me, so of course I had to uh, get them to notice me. So right. what better way to get a, to notice a child than uh, by faking your own death and writhing in the surf on the beach? <laughs> But of course, they, they knew I wasn't dead. I, I, I'm sorry to interrupt you, oh. Chef, but these yeah. two happen to be flirting with each other on the stage. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, and that, is, that is rude. And this man, we need to cock block him. Oh. We need to cock block this man right here. Oh. All right? Okay. okay. Sure. So, Chuck, okay. you won the the coin toss backstage. So, um, you are going to be up first, so, um, Chuck, block that cock.
lot, you know, in the prison yard. Huh. Yeah, on the weekends he has to go to prison. <laughs> <laughs> Suggestion for an occupation? Anybody have an occupation? Camp counselor. Camp counselor. Okay, you were both camp counselors. In your seat. I am. Uh, I'm just really 
super excited to be here amongst Jesus Christ. Those <laughs> are <laughs> the children of Christ and you guys did it. Oh my. Oh my. I'm glad you think I'm a good friend, because there's something I want to tell you. Yeah, yeah, anything. Miranda. Open your transparency in Jesus. Yeah. Miranda, I have gotten to know you through the Lord, yeah. and I want to yeah. know you deeper. Yeah? Like, you want my, my Facebook page and Tumblr? And... All right, Chuck, your right arm is possessed, and you can't control it. <laughs> you want to, like, I can give you my digits. I, I just them. want to... Be a little closer to you. Okay, I like you too. Yeah, oh, it's not every guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we definitely did not leave room for Jesus. No, no, no. no, no, no. I, 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 there was a bug. There was a bug on you. There was a bug on you. All right, Brandy. Every other sentence, you're moving at half speed during it. Yeah, I just, I just think that maybe we should slow things down. <laughs> Slow things down. We haven't even started yet. No, it's just not that. It's just that I have commitment issues. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just something that goes back to my childhood. You know what I mean? My father left. Oh, <laughs> daddy issues. Oh. 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 oh, yeah, violence is a. Oh. Oh. Okay, oh. violence is a real turn off. You have to. You have to say yes. Alright, All right, Chuck, anytime the word D is said, you have to whistle. <laughs> See, the thing is, I just really like you, but I'm afraid you'll get me pregnant. <laughs> pregnant? No, no, no. I, I would use a, a, I would use abstinence. To a cat. <laughs> I like you a lot, and I know Jesus says that you should wait, but I really oh. want to <laughs> oh, do it. That's fun. Let's yeah. go with this. <laughs> I mean, maybe we <laughs> Draw how people will date in 100 years. 
and you have two minutes to drop it. <laughs> No pressure, no pressure at all. I've <laughs> 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 a very interesting artwork over here. <laughs> Looks really good from up here. <laughs> So you 
say, do me. It's Arizona is a very popular place to have sex with cactuses and mountains. <laughs> and um, uh, basketballs fly. <laughs> time to go on dates anymore, right? Mm. Everyone's so, so you know, involved in technology. Uh, so I took a page, actually, uh, I'm not going to lie, because great artists steal. I took a page out of uh, Chappelle's show, so you know they had the uh, wrap it up box. Well, this is a doomy box, right? So you have two options. So you just go up to a person, and you say, do me? Yes or no? <laughs> kind of like back in, back in the grade school days. You know, you're like, do you like me? Yes, no. Like, except now you have a box with buttons. It's 2113. And, uh, and yes, actually, Brandy is correct. That is the future uh, generation of Givens. And he's kind of going, huh? Because that's what you do. You put, you put it down on the ground and you go, huh? Uh, and, uh, and I had some time left over, so I, I made uh, 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 happy trees and, uh, you know, mountainscapes. Excellent. Because, you know, we could clean up our act eventually in the future. That's excellent work. Excellent work. Wow. Give them a round of applause. Yeah. If you think Brandy's was better, give her a round of applause. Yeah. All right, five points go to Brandy. It's hard to beat Titty Hill, John. <laughs> it is a tie game. Once again. Oh my goodness. And so we are going to go into PowerPoint. Karaoke. <laughs> and uh, for the first contestant, let's let's have uh, let's have Brandy up. Brandy. And uh, it's gonna queue up here soon. Your PowerPoint presentation. So they do not know what these PowerPoint presentations are. They have never seen them before. <laughs> Yet they are absolute experts on the subject that is going to happen behind them. Brandy, can you stand on the other side of the stage, please? This is why. Uh-oh. 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 Technical difficulty. I'll do it new. Let's <laughs> not. All right. Now you can begin. How keeping chickens will save your life. Let's be completely honest. Anything written by a cast member of Roseanne? We're going to take some. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, as you may know, as you may know, uh, poultry, poultry is a growing industry. Uh, one day I woke, uh, one day cold in March, I woke up unsatisfied with my efforts to tread gently upon the wood. Who hasn't? Who hasn't, am I right? So I think chicken. Chicken's the answer. You know what I mean? If you're a vegetarian, you don't have to kill and eat the chicken. You can just love the chicken. My friends and blog readers spoke with a single voice. You need chicken. That's right. And I did. And I did need chickens. And you know what? I got chickens. And so should you. I know you might live in a city and they're like, oh, they're going to wake me up in the morning. Who cares? All about you and your heart. Dar Darlene Connor said so. Yes, yes, I did. In a world where we told, we were told not to do, there was, he was an affirmative, affirmative, keep chickens. I don't know if you've ever had those affirmative moments in life. Yes, you should marry that person. Yes, you should buy that house. Yes, you should keep chickens. <laughs> not only will it make your life better, but you'll have free feathers for your pillows. Uh, you'll, uh, you'll, get to, you'll get to keep them in a box. Six days later, I took the four, number four halfway across the city and bought chicks. In our arts and crafts houses, our Pearl <laughs> District condos, we're disconnected from the cycle of life. Just think about that. <laughs> okay. Chickens reconnect us from their fragile first days to their desperate relationships with the wilder sort. Have you ever seen a chicken get killed? <laughs> Have you ever seen a coyote go straight after a chicken? Traumatizing, let me tell you. You don't want to, you don't want to keep your chicken safe from coyotes, people. Suddenly our wild spaces, our worms and weeds and creepy crawly things have meaning. Don't they know? Don't you just look at a worm and think, oh god, yeah. <laughs> in the small steps, we begin to count our urban spaces in terms of what life they support instead of the quality of our lawn. Who cares about true green? It's about the chickens. It's about the chickens. 
I mean, look at that little boy, how happy he is. One day, we, <laughs> we do not ask our children to come in from the yard. Instead, we go out with them. We became angry about the non-indigenous plants, and we don't use punctuation correctly or capitalization because that's what the man wants. <laughs> we remember the simple pleasures of butter, flour, eggs. We wonder whether it would be possible to get a cow. Let's not get crazy, but we might. <laughs> In our single-minded quest to keep our creatures safe, we do things by hand. Two parts gravel, three parts sand, just like in life. One part love, the rest of it luck. <laughs> we stopped unannounced neighbors' houses to admire their coops. Neighbors no longer walk quickly by, enraptured by their hens. We notice less litter in our yard. I mean, chickens eat litter. You know, yeah, I mean, think about it. If you ever drop some corn, you're like, oh shit, now I have to pick that up. Not, not be a chicken. <laughs> Hey, look at that eggs. Gifts take on a new meaning. <laughs> no more three forty nine a dozen Harris to Got my own. <laughs> One day gardening does not seem so impossible. We learn about heirloom tomatoes and cover crops and composting. Yeah, basically you can put your shit to work literally. <laughs> okay? Along with those chickens. Chicken poop. Having experienced the joy and beauty of a free hen, we demand cage free eggs! Free range meat! Organic car! <laughs> Green cities, mobility, well-being city, a safe city, a helpful city. Folks, this is all in your city, and it can be for just a nominal fee. <laughs> talk more about that in a second. Everybody loves shapes. <laughs> steal your wallets and money. <laughs> but as we go into the next slide, I'll show you really complicated work <laughs> graphs here. Uh, if I could just zoom in. This is not working. We're not, this is not working. <laughs> so, our zoom so just imagine that all this zooms in. And I wonder of a child in a park, of you riding your bicycle, and then getting on the bus that has natural coal. <laughs> well, I see some of you are skeptical. I see some of you are skeptical. Folks, that's how we got around in the 1800s, and we're bringing it back. As you can see here, everybody's happy. They all live in their nice, beautiful squares. And uh, you can see here what looks like a very tiny East Carolina football stadium. Uh, nobody's in there. Do you know why? Because it's East Carolina. <laughs> it's actually not football season. That's why there's nobody in there. They're all at home. They're all enjoying the natural wonders of natural resources and clean energy. And yes, I'm talking about coal. <laughs> Citizen, operator, maintenance, administrator, public services. These are just words. 
But these are also, <laughs> these are also jobs. <laughs> because jobs are important. Children are our future. Natural products are our children's future. You see, we have a lot of green. <laughs> green is our future. Next slide, please. <laughs> In the futuristic city, we have a lot of green. We have a lot of... The earth is blown apart. <laughs> but that's okay. Do not fret. Society will take care of itself. We'll just grab a rope, pull Pangea back together, and start. <laughs> See? There it is. This is your new Earth, ladies and gentlemen. And just for a nominal fee, we can bring all the continents back together. Forget all the water and just focus on the green, on the renewable stuff. We're not going to let the Middle East take the oil anymore. That's going to be everyone's oil. As you can see here, cities will be gray. Because <laughs> that's how it has to be, folks. Parks are green, cities are gray. Let's give it up for Sean. <laughs> Presentation. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> and if you think Chuck did better at his, give him a round. <laughs> oh my goodness! It was close. No. So give five points to Chuck. And that leads us to our last game, folks. Oh, our last no. game. The game of Top That Lie. Top That Lie. The way this game works is I am going to tell each person five lies, and you have to top each of those lies. This is a, this is a fast game, folks. You, you think you can do it? Yeah. Yeah. Think you can do it? Yeah. All right, uh, Brandy, Brandy, you happen to be behind. So yeah, well, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you go first. Okay. Uh, you ready? Okay. I'm the president of the United States. I gave birth to the president of the United States. <laughs> All right. I'm faster than Usain Bolt. Yeah, well, so are a lot of other people that aren't in races. Oh. <laughs> I have never masturbated. I'm masturbating right now. <laughs> <laughs> I own my own island. I built an island on Minecraft. Oh. <laughs> I, I invented the internet. I invented post-its and Al Gore. <laughs> Samsung first. <laughs> I have 2,000 friends on Facebook. I have 15. Oh. <laughs> I, have a, I have a gluten allergy. I have a gluten allergy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I died and came back to life. I will never die! Excellent work. Very good. Very good. Very good. So if you think Chuck did better that, that round. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> and if you think Brandy did better that round, give her a round of applause. <laughs> Think up your strength. Oh. Okay, so it's, it's go on three or, or add no, 
Now, uh, now it's it's going to be paper, rock, scissors, shoots, and that's when you you show. All right. I'm ready. You ready then? Yeah. You ready? I mean, I not want to show what you're doing. <laughs> All right. I wasn't doing rock. I was oh, okay. just ready. <laughs> paper, rock, scissors, shoot.